a week in the life of an eBay reseller, eBay seller, full-time eBay seller, whatever you want to call it. It's Monday morning. I'm just going to go through each day, Monday to Friday, Monday to Sunday. We'll see how we get on. And you can just get to know what I get up to on a daily basis. So it's about 11 o'clock Monday morning. I have already picked and packed 20 orders there in the boot, ready to go. I'll show you some of them sales in a little bit because there is some really good ones in there. I've got a few bits that I need to take to the charity shop. I'll have a quick look around the charity shop, see what we can find to start off the uh, the week. See if they've got anything nice in over the weekend. I also went to the car boot yesterday, so I've got a big haul that I need to film on the end of the car boot video. So that is on the to-do list. Basically, if I'm knackered on the Sunday, I will never film the haul straight after. If I feel all right, I will, but most of the time, I just leave it till the day after. I've also got some lost parcels that I bought on the car boot as well, so I need to film that. Maybe not do that today, maybe tomorrow, but lots and lots to do this week. Apart from that, we've got all these trainers that we picked up, so I need to do a big haul on that video. Personal collection has been purchased, so that is very cool. There will be a whole video on these trainers on the channel probably already. I probably would have released that before this one. But yeah, lots and lots of stock to be listed. We're clearing plenty of space on the rail now. So good to see the big coats and the suits and stuff like that leave before the summer. Because if it gets to the summer, a lot of them just will stick around. It's an absolute tip in here because I've been packing. So just ignore that for a second. I'm going to get this tied a little bit later. We have had a refund on this pure wool jumper. The woman was a little bit awkward. She's she, she's literally put, uh, didn't match photos or descriptions. It matched the photos. There was measurements in the descriptions. She said it didn't fit. So yeah, it's just a return because she didn't like it. Anyway, that does happen. We'll get that relisted and get it sold again. Big shout out to Syndicate. If you know, you know. I've met him a couple of times. Great guy. So we're on about 10 past 11 Monday morning. I have had two sales this morning. A pair of Levi's for £25 and a pair of House of Brewer wool trousers for £30. So good couple of sales to start off the day. And I will just fly through what we have been packing this morning. So we've had that big wall fan. We've had that Tilly lamp. I'm waiting for payment on another pair of wool trousers from last night. Some Clark's trainers, military suit there that we got from Stacey. Very cool, £60 for that. Couple other cool bits, some motorcycle gear. This vintage jacket's off to Vegas, which is very cool. We got that from Stacey. Uh, we sold that Doctor Who book that we got in the car boot. Dinosaur, a few other bits and bobs. Some really cool pieces that have gone this weekend. Really happy with how the sales have picked up. Got that WWE figure off the car boot as well. Another little house of brewer piece, little Nike tech fleece. And these are cool little medical Nike shoes as well. So lots and lots have gone out over the weekend. Really, really happy with how that's went. Just got to smash it this week, get the listings up. We just got to continue how we left off. I've got lots to edit, lots to list. And yeah, just keep applying the pressure. More of the same this week. This is what 20 parcels are looking like today. We've got some big ones today, so a little bit awkward. But the parcel shop we do go to sound as anything though you know what you actually caught me on a bit of a mad day as well because today is the day that i've quit vaping so the last bit of vape i had was like 10 o'clock last night we're on what 11 o'clock so we've done 13 hours anyway to make it easier i thought i'd get nicotine gum didn't like it at all rubbish oh proper burnt my mouth anyway i'm just going to chew normal gum to keep something in my mouth keep it active and have a patch i don't think i need the nicotine stuff but i just thought why not make it as easy and as comfortable as you can anyway wish me luck by the end of this video, you'll see how we're done because it'll be a week later. We're leaving the house, so we've got some rescue remedy. We're leaving the house, so we've got some rescue remedy spray. I've touched on it before, but anxiety is a bitch. Mental health's a bitch. But to keep going, keep pushing, hard times don't last forever. So let's get it. Let's smash it. Let's smash the day. Let's smash the week. I just feel like I need to grab my vape all the time. Like, I always have it somewhere. Feels weird. Right. Let's go. Okie dokie, so dropped all the parcels off. I have just filled a bag in the charity shop. We spent 30 quid on the lot. So I'll talk you through that when we get home. I just bumped into you. Hi. Right, I got a little clip in the charity shop. I found a little Barca shirt, which was nice. I'm not sure if it's legit. The LFP on the, the side looks a bit weird, but the tags look all right, like halfway down the shirt. So we'll have to find out about that. And then I got a barber loading jumper, which is pretty cool. It looks a tad shrunk. So it's one of them where, you know, someone's washed it or dried it. It's a wool jumper. But I should be able to sell it as a size down. It doesn't look ruined. It's just one of them things. It was a fiver though, so it had to be bought. We've also picked up the nicotine patches. So I'll whack one of them on in a minute. I've never had them before. So we'll see what that's like. And yeah, going to head home now. I've got to film some shiz. I've got to list some shiz. I've got to tidy some crap. And then I've got to edit some crap as well. So lots to do. No rest for the wicked. 
Busy, busy guy. Yeah, productive day though. Good start to the week. I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Right, I look a bit far away in this room, but uh, the Barca shirt is real. I've paid a pound for that. So that is a beaut. That is a 2002-2003 away shirt. There's your barber jumper. Fibre on that. A little bit shrunk. It's supposed to be a medium. Probably about as small. And then this lot in here cost us 30 quid all in. So first off, we have a Ralph Lauren shirt with the embroidered logo there. That is a Yarmouth collection or Yarmouth collection. No marks or anything on that. Pretty good condition. A little bit of a cream colorway. Very nice. Another little Ralphie here. Not a particularly great colorway. Green and orange. However, it is 100% merino wool. Nice size. Should do all right. Now, this shirt really interested me. It's got like little shoulder bits like that. It looks very, very military. Double pocket, thick cotton. And it is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Apart from that, I don't have much more information than that. There's a couple of marks on it where it's been stored. A little spider's web or something like that. But it's, uh, it is in nice condition. There's no faults with it. But it is a, just a very interesting design. And I just thought, hmm, definitely worth having a look at that. Couple of box standard games. We've got Quake 4 on the 360. Star Wars Battlefront on the original Xbox. That is a classic. And then Rogue Trooper on the original Xbox. If I do find Uncommon Games, original Xbox games, for like 50p quid, I normally do pick them up. I do collect for the Xbox original, and I am just a bit of a sucker, just to pick up a game when I see them. Got these O'Neill snow trousers, but they're actually really high quality. Like, they remind me of those Burberry trousers that I bought. Really thick, really nice condition on those, really well made. It is the Freedom Series, 40 large, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, very nice. Got a little Spider-Man bag for Charlotte's nephew, I'm sure he'll love that, with a little... Uh, not sure what that is, little coin bag, something like that. Very cute. And then I got a load of brand new Nike socks, XL unisex adults. So they're football socks. I think there's about six pairs in there, and then I've got three pairs that are out of the bag like that. So no brainer, really. Brand new Nike football socks, good size, good little multi-listing. Can't complain. I think that is 30 quid well spent, to be honest. And then also, I think I will mention this in the car boot video, but I picked up a load of Thomas trains. There's some good ones in there. Trekmaster. They all pretty much work as well. Paid 20 quid for all of those at a tabletop sale on Saturday. So I was really happy with that. I didn't film in there, but um, it was a nice little quiet church one. And uh, we did all right in there. So the plan is now I'm going to leave the clothes up here because this is where... I do my photos there on the white wall. Take the hard bits, the socks, and all little bits and bobs back down to the garage. They get photographed in there. We're also going to take the trains down as well. Get those sorted out. Hopefully get a few of them photographed. We are cooking on gas today. 20 parcels packed and gone. Good old charity shop haul. We've quit vaping. We're filming a week in the life. We're going to list loads today. We're going to edit loads today. We just, we're just in go mode. I hope you are too. Keep smashing it. I know I am being a little bit more motivational recently and talking a little bit serious sometimes and pushing you. Don't take it as a cliche thing. I'm just trying to throw some positive energy your way and out there into the world. So we just filmed the car boot video. Second half went through uh, all the pickups and stuff. Some surprising stuff in there. That's worth good money. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, after, to be fair, when you go and you pick up loads of stuff and then you look at it, you go, oh, it went great. But then you actually look at it. Some yeah, decent stuff. Left. Yeah, yeah, a couple hundred quid. So, anyway, we're going to do the mystery lost parcels. It's going to be a load of crap in there, but it's a good little video. So, yeah, day one of the week, and we're busy, busy, busy getting lots done. Right, so Charlotte's been charity shops today. She's got a few bits as well, so I thought we'd, uh, we'd throw these in here so you can see. Some Oliver Bowen chinos there. Half mm -hmm. price, so they were five, weren't they? Brand new with tags. We have 60, size 12. I got these on next to the um, post office. Yeah. So, it's like... Climb up to the pin. This yeah. 100% merino ball. Yeah, 225 you paid for that. What do you call that? Dog tooth, dog check, whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, it's nice, nice purple colour. Perfect condition, like new. So, yeah, this is what Charlotte's up to when I'm pottering about. You're getting bits as well, aren't mm -hmm. you? Sea salt skirt. Um, £2.25 and 16 That'll go for like 20 Yep. The jumper will be about 20 25 and the chinos. 20 to 30 Yeah. Fat face jeans. Size 16 and short. Crop. Three, three quid. Pound. Yeah. That's all really nice condition. So Just like bread and butter, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And then a next get twenty four pounds, size twelve. Yeah, like a classic pair. blue denim. Well, this was really pretty. We never got like fifteen, you know. Just yeah, like, yeah. Keeps my store ticking over. Yeah, I'm not showing the people the Spider Man jeans. Yeah. Nice. Who's got the best trousers on? So we've got tea towel, or we've got Spider Man jeans. They're not really Spider Man jeans, are they? They're fake Spider Man. No, they're jeans. jaded London. They're like eighty pound jeans. These. Web boy. Yeah, skate jeans. You're not a skater, though. I used to be. Right, so I just finished the um, mystery... <laughs> we had some fun. <laughs> yeah, we just finished filming the mystery lost parcels video. That was fun. 
As you, you can tell. You'd see that maybe before this, maybe after this. I don't actually, I'll probably release that before, so yeah. you know, I don't spoil what's in it. But uh, yeah, that was fun. This is a supreme hot dog. I'm buzzing with that, we'll do that again. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tidy the crap up in the garage, get some photos done, and then get some listenings done, and then just be editing all night then. We can chill, can't we? Yeah, we'll watch some Netflix and have some tasty food. Yep, spaghetti bolognese on tonight. Yep. Yep. Right, on to the next. Right, comfy pants back on, comfy shoes on. This is the aftermath of videos filmed. You guys sit up here when we film. There's no crazy stands or anything like that. So I'm going to get all this tidied up, get it nice and clean, get the photo area down, and then we can get some photos taken. It's getting a bit later in the day now. So I was in here at about 9 o'clock packing. It's like 4 o'clock now. Um, so what I need to do is get that down, get 10 or so photos done, just so I can get 10 listings done today. Hopefully be back in the house at 5, get editing, Videos sorted for tomorrow and stuff like that. Get the listings up, then we can just chill then. We normally just have telly on, some nice telly on when we list it anyway. Um, so the actual listing side of things, when you're chilling, you're based up. I don't really count that as working. So enough talk though, I'm going to crack on. Right, so spent a little time tidying up, getting rid of a few bits and bobs. All the unlisted bits and all that are on there. So what we can do now is just work through a bit of that. So we are definitely going to go for the Indo Raptor today. Just wanted to mention we did get payment on those trousers before so these are what's going to get dispatched on wednesday the levi's and the ralph Lauren. that's from today a couple of these say they're from the 6th of march as well which is today so uh we'll count them as well anyway hopefully a little bit later we'll get a few more sales and it'll build up nicely over the next couple of days we are going to go for some easy stuff as well so we've got some games to do that is nice and easy just got to keep it pretty minimalistic today because it's been a bit of a mad day Gonna do this Walt Disney cap. What we got at the tabletop sale? We're gonna do this blue here. Very handsome chap. We will do the Hello Kitty Builder Bear couch. Paid 50p on that one. We'll do this Sony car radio thing. We'll go for that big 4,000 piece puzzle. And then I just want to pick a pair of shoes as well. What do we fancy? What do we fancy? What do we fancy? So these were all bought from the private collection. So you can see they're all sixes or five and a halfs. Literally all the way around. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do these Clark's Wallabies. Right, so my job now, get those 10 photographed. Go upstairs, nice and chill. Get them listed nice and slowly, no rush. We're going to get that car boot video edited out for Tuesday, 12 o'clock afternoon upload. So we're going to get that sorted. And I'm also going to upload the football shirt mystery box as well tonight. And then schedule it for like Wednesday or something. Just so there's a couple of videos there for you guys. But in terms of the video, I am done for Monday. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. See if I look just as good as I do now. So it's Tuesday morning. It's day two. Day two of not vaping. It is day two of the weekly vlog. We got a lot done last night. We got 10 items listed. I got the car boot video edited and uploaded for today. It's coming out Tuesday. I uploaded the football shirt video. It's coming out Wednesday or Thursday. And then this morning, I actually edited the mystery parcel video as well. That was a mouthful. I had to take a breath. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got three videos all lined up, which are cool. And um, yeah, obviously we're recording this as well. So lots to be done. So for the rest of the day now, I'll be obviously uploading that video and getting it scheduled for a few days ahead. And then I'm literally just smashing out the listings now, getting a load, a load of photos taken. I don't really need to head out for much today. So it's just all hands on deck. Look what's popped up on my screen, that handsome chap from the shed. <laughs> thumbnail posing i'm sure so let's see any new sales on the ebay so we sold this monarch's jacket that we got off stacy 58 pound on that one we sold some bearing trousers for 18 pounds some women's ones we had payments on the baby bowling dress and the house of brio pants which is very nice and cool we sold this high vis jacket as well 30.99 sold that jurassic world dinosaur that you see me have yesterday 17 pound there a jewels top ralph Lauren jumper and then those couple of bits you did see at the start of Monday. So yeah, nice little Monday worth of sales, that. But no one's wondering what I actually use to do thumbnails and stuff. Canva. Pretty simple to use. Done the uh, the little outro on here as well, as you can see there. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. I want to say magic, the bog standard thumbnails. But yeah, this is what I'm doing. When I'm not reselling, I'm doing all this kind of stuff. So on the YouTube side of things, we're pretty much done for the week. So we've got the Lost Every Parcels coming out Friday. Mystery stock coming out Thursday. That's coming out in a few minutes, the car boot one. So all done there. Now we can get onto some reselling. So Charlotte's made me a smoothie. It looks a little bit sus, but what's in it? Um, Spinach, papaya, dragon's fruit, mango, pineapple, strawberries, um, honey, and then one scoop of ice cream with water. Very nice, thank you. Yep. 
welcome. Right, so this dude actually did sell for $16.99. Listed him last night, so nice quick sale on those. Update on the old sales. March, we're doing really well. Last seven days, 1.4, so that's really good. Happy with that. Just need to keep these bars as high as we can. First sale of the day was this Aquascutum coat for 50 quid. That's gone GSP. I think they paid 80 quid all in. That was from Stacey. The plan for now is we're just going to get all these skewed up, put into boxes. So we get a nice clear floor and then we can kind of tackle a few more bits and get them all listed. So we are doing some dinosaurs at the minute. We did blue yesterday. She's sold already. Uh, we've got this Dilophosaurus, which is like... Remember in Jurassic Park is the one that Dennis Nedry kind of got spat on by. Anyway, this little one's like an attack pack one. You can still get around £20 at least for him, especially because he's got the little piece in his mouth still. So that's a nice little one there. Paid like 50p on those. And then we got this flying one as well, which is like 15 as well. Even though it's really small, we still achieve good money. Just because they're a little bit more uncommon dinosaurs, people still want them. Both of these are from 2017 as well. Second sale of the day's coming. It's this poetry maxi skirt. Similar to like a toast design, it's like blue denim. Got 37 quid for that. Uh, we think we've made about five or six quid in the charity shop. So happy with that one. It's currently 20 past one. So just kicking on. Got to get into those trains, I think now. The Thomas ones, do a couple pair of trainers and uh, just keep plodding. So you might have seen on my car boot video, I did pick these up at a tabletop sale. Absolutely tons of Trackmaster trains. Got some carts down there. And then most of this at the bottom is all the Ertle diecast stuff. So there's absolutely tons of it. So that's the job today. Just getting stuck into all of this. Um, for example, she's like 20 quid, this one alone. I paid £22 for the whole lot. This one here, Bullet Train from 1974. That is really cool. And it works. Something I've never dealt with before. So I'm uh, excited to get stuck in, get it all listed. Okie dokie. So that is the first list I've made up there. That is like all the Ertle trains. They're not really worth too much. So I'm going to list them all as a bundle. Still working our way through the actual Trackmaster ones. Got a couple here that we're going to start building a little bundle. But yeah, we're not winning just yet. We're not winning just yet. Right. And just like that, it is Wednesday. Yesterday, I took a turn for the worse. Wow, I was feeling sick, headachey, stomach, the whole lot, dizzy, weak. I think the vape withdrawal just hit me hard. Like the blood sugar was up and down. I don't, I don't even know. It wasn't good anyway. It was not good. I was just here and then suddenly I just didn't feel good at all. So I had to go and lie down. Anyway, it's a new day. It's Wednesday. Um, I imagine the Tuesday day was a little bit short than the Monday day on the vlog. I've got a cup of tea and two potato cakes to get the day started. Yesterday, I did get the 10 listings done still. So I did get the bare minimum done at least. But the plan for this morning is just get the rest of them trains done. Get them packed away and then we can get those listed later. I've also got parcels to send. So I'll just uh, run you through what we've actually sold. All right. So this morning, I did sell these Vibram five finger shoes. Paid a pound for those in the charity shop. So good to get 40 on those. I sold a Chelsea shirt for £12. I sold this Sonic game for 24 on the Mega Drive. I sold that Laura Ashley candlestick for 15. Poetry Maxi skirt for 37. So you've seen the rest of those, haven't you? Anyway, some not bad sales after that. To be fair, got all these to send out. So I think there's 13 or 14 to send out. 14 so far. And then we've got a couple waiting for payment. So we'll see how we get on today. It is absolutely throwing it down. It is a little bit hard to think. So I have done a handful of little train bundles and a few individual listings there. I've still got a whole lot I need to sort through, but I just thought I'd get a few bits on there, see how it does, and then we can kind of deal with the rest a little bit later. So you've seen them all before, but this is what's going on today. So the Vibrant Shoes, Chelsea, Mega Drive shirt there, Maxi Skirt, Aqua Scoot and Coat, Jacket, little Baby Bowden, a lot of clothes to be fair, a lot of nice easy parcels to pack so that is all of that stuff there and then the last one we need to pick is just the aqua scutum coat which is that one here and that is this one here that is the brand aqua scutum good little brand that so quite well right quick update 15 parcels done there it took me about 20 minutes just to get them all in plastic bags and get them packed up uh with my clothes and stuff i always put them in a clear bag and then in a mailing bag just to keep them a little bit safer if you get a bit of water in there but yeah the monday and tuesday sales really nice and easy parcels so i'm very happy with that didn't take long at all so jobs are good and that's 15 parcels from monday tuesday Get them sent on Wednesday, and then our next postage day will be like Wednesday, Thursday orders. They'll be shipped on Friday, and then Friday to weekend orders all get shipped Monday. So I just do three shipping days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It works good for me. Keeps me busy listing and doing all the video stuff during the week. I get three days where I just need to smash out the parcels. Today, it didn't actually take that long at all. 20 minutes to pack them, 
10 15 to get the labels done stick them on so literally got it all done within an hour get them dropped off and away they go ignore the uh, big spot there obviously stressed vape plus <laughs> so i was going to mention that's not the case every time sometimes you sell some absolutely random big bits that you need to pack for days today was a nice day but some days it'll take hours right ready to go now um i've got a few of charlotte's parcels as well i do work as her postman as well so i've got a few bits from the charity shop here we'll go through them when i get home a little bit later got a couple more shops to pop in uh just to see what we can find it's really bright out here my eyes are squinty as hell but um yeah, I've got a good few bits there. Got a few more shops to pop in and we'll go through all that later. I've got orange and green on today. Bit of a mismatch. We've got the Optic Texas hoodie. If you know, you know. But uh, I love this coat off Stacey as well. It is brilliant. Get that. And we've got a good few bits in there as well. Happy days. Right, all that charity shopping has built up an appetite. We've got Warren's Bakery, the oldest Cornish baker in the world apparently so see if it's any good so i went with a sausage roll not bad at all i show charlotte the hall mm -hmm. i got that out, out the back of reaches got them out the back of reaches nudies never heard of it never heard of it got reaches got this in reaches this is burberry's nice suit burberry suit was that out the back of reaches no, that was say? that was on the that was in the in the shop that burberry right. And then that's the uh, the hooks. I've got a Harry Potter, I've got a sealed uh, switch game. Ooh. Paradox. Nice. Some other bits, but I'm going to go through it properly with the gang. The gang soon. The gang being your... My squadron. What are your subscribers called? What do you call them? The, John Lucas? The j -Loos. No, I'm <laughs> Right, back in the garage. This is what I was talking about before. Bit of orange, bit of green. Oh, well. Move that away. See me better there, can't you? Bosh. Right, in the charity shop, the last one we went in there, we got this Jaeger blazer, which is wool and linen. The inside is silk. And then we got a pair of nudie jeans. Done quite well on nudie jeans in the past. A little new one for me, to be fair. I don't know everything about these. But they are in good condition. It's very nice colourway. And um, I'm sure I'll be able to do really well on those. So for those jeans and that Jaeger blazer, we paid eight quid for the two. We got this game for 150. It's the Sinister Mansion. Exit the game, like a card game. Paid 150, should get about a tenner on that. And then we got this retro Burberry suit, grey wool suit basically. There's a little tag in there. There is the blazer, in a tag there. Can't seem to find what it's made of. It does feel a bit woolly to be fair. We'll see how we get on with that. I paid £6 for the blazer and the trousers. So yeah, that was all in the same shop. So 750 plus eight, £15.50 we paid on those four pieces. Quite happy with that. And then this IKEA bag here, we paid £40 for the lot. So what's the price to see this one in here? It's Cobra Kai on the Switch and it's brand new and sealed. Got the old little Argos number on the back there. We got this CD language course. It is French and we should get around about a tenner for that. That is brand new and sealed. Good Life Complete Collection on DVD. It's about a £12 box set. Another little Harry Potter to make up some bundles. Paradox, a little bit worn, should come out quite nicely to be fair. They've got the purple laces, I'm not sure if they're the official laces, but we'll have to see. Pretty sure they are authentic, so happy with those, very nice. Got a little pair of Converse with like the little flared kind of frilly tongue. I've sold a pair of these before actually. These are a UK 3, so small size, probably whack them up for 20, maybe a little bit more, take an offer, but um, yeah, can't complain, bread and butter. Got a pair of grey Ted Baker jeans. You don't sell for great money, but I just thought, why not? They're in good condition. They'll uh, they'll sell pretty well, pretty quickly. And then, as always, a little pair of Levi's as well. 501 CT. I'm not sure what the CT stands for. If you do, let me know. They're uh, button up. Again, though, nice condition. Those are a 32, 34, so a pretty decent size as well. Got these executive red Jordans. Good condition. They're a UK 4. Pretty sure they're legit as well. The stitching is looking nice on those. Obviously, I'll double check, triple check, like I do always. But uh should get a decent return on those. They are a small size, but they're in good condition. And I paid for it for the lot, so nice. Got a little Rex for myself. You know I love Toy Story. He's got a little feature there. I did get a little Ninjago minifigure. He's not worth a whole lot. Might wait till I get a little bit of a bundle. But if I was to sell him, probably get a fiver or something. Another little dude there. That is an Imaginex shark guy. So, see what we do with him. I know he's worth great money again. But I can do a little bundle eventually. And then the last little bit was just this Schleck horse from 2003. Again, probably not great money. But when I come across a few more bits, we can do like a nice little bundle with those. And these little bits and pieces here probably just aren't costing me too much in the grand scheme of things. The bulk of the money is in the boots, the shoes, jeans and stuff like that. So 
yeah they're just little bits that i can put to one side and when i get something else put with them sell them on so considering it was only out about an hour good little haul plenty to be listing I'm going to take the clothes upstairs i'm going to do a lot of clothes today because i've already got some waiting up there so yeah we're cooking on gas today we're making up for lost time yesterday so we've had a new video out today the football shirt one I'm going to get this listed obviously we're still filming the week in the life so this is all ongoing as well um this will be a nice one to edit nice long one if you are enjoying the week in the life so far what we're on we're on wednesday afternoon now so you've still got plenty left if you are enjoying it do hit the like button leave a nice comment and yeah we'll crack on i've had a sale as well i want to show you so that is the sale there. It's those birkenstocks got 40 quid for those they came from the big collection I bought, so that's the first sale of those, which I'm happy about. I did actually just get a comment on my recent video saying, why don't you work full-time and do eBay on the side? And the answer to that is I've worked full-time and done it on the side before, and I've transitioned over to do it full-time. Obviously, it's not for everyone working for yourself, but I find it much more productive working for myself, working hard, knowing you'll reap the rewards. So yeah, I did comment back, and I know another subscriber did comment back as well, but... Yeah, there's nothing wrong with working full-time, doing eBay on the side. There's nothing wrong with doing it full-time, having a part-time job. There's all there's all different kinds of ways you do it. To be fair, I've worked full-time in a couple of different jobs, and it just doesn't suit me. doesn't suit me at all. And everyone's different. A lot of my viewers are full-time, a lot of my viewers are part-time, and some of my viewers don't even resell at all. So, but yeah, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. I uh, enjoy working for myself, working as a business myself. So, obviously, working for yourself, there's a lot of good and some bad you know, as with a normal job. If you're employed, you might want holidays and you can't get them granted. You've got a rask and all that good stuff. If you're self-employed, you can take time off whenever you need. And then if you're self-employed, you don't get sick pay when you're sick and all, and all that kind of things. There's all different elements. You don't have a manager when you're your own manager. But after working for myself, I wouldn't want to go back to employment. Definitely not. Um, I'd always want to keep self-employed from here. Whatever makes you happy, just go and do it. That's the main thing. As long as you're happy, that's it. Because what else is there in life apart from your happiness and your family and stuff? Yeah, you got to put that first. In employment, when I was employed, my mental health was a lot worse than it is now. And that is understating things. A couple of people who work with me in the past watch these videos and they'll be able to vouch for that. You've got to put your mental health and your happiness and your personal well-being top of the chain. That comes first. So whether that's working for yourself, working for someone else or not working at all, only you know what's best for you. While we are on the topic though, I will mention it because I did mention it in a day in the life not too long ago about mental health and stuff like that. My mental health at the moment's pretty good on an even keel, but after a few days, it could be right back in the uh, in the dumps again. So I just say each day as it comes, I don't take anything for granted and I just try and stay on an even keel. I don't celebrate the highs too high and I try and not to get low too low. If that makes sense. So I'm not too bad at the minute, especially with quitting vaping this week as well. I feel like I'm coping quite well, being pretty productive and cracking on with things. But what I was just going to mention is, while you're watching this video, if your day's not gone to plan, it's not been too great. Tomorrow's a new opportunity, tomorrow's a new day. And I know when you're in the dumps, it doesn't seem that way. But tough times don't last forever. Tough people do. That is the words of Thomas Skinner, by the way. But he's very, very true. People have peaks and troughs all the time. So keep strong, keep plugging away. And um, yeah, things will work themselves out. So we're on to photographing the clothes now. Just on them Levi's that we got today, I've got these nudie jeans here as well. They actually look really, really good on the wall like that. I think they've been ironed in the shop or something. They just look perfect. They fall in perfectly. But I do like nudie jeans. They do look a little bit too slim for me. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep my eye out. That's what the back looks like. Just a nice colour, nice kind of feel to them. But um, I think the last pair of these sold for like 25. These are nicer than those, so I might be able to get a little bit more. But... Yeah, I like them. Also got on over here, I've got Joe Rogan and Coffeezilla on. So if you're wondering what I do listening-wise, Joe Rogan, something like that usually. Boo! On a real low, just got that photographed. We have got a couple pair of jeans, Tulkin jumper, two little Plymouth tops there. Just done the Burberry suit as well, so going good. These are the pants I picked up the other day. These are uh, O'Neill ones. They are really nice. I know I was banging on about them, but they are nice. I'm going to get these done now. I've just ended my photographing off for the day, just with a few of these bits that I got today. Nice and easy stuff to, to be listing. I've also just taken a few photos of receipts for QuickBooks, so I've just put them in the folder. So all good on that side of things. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up for Wednesday. What I'm doing now, just going to be listing everything that I've photographed and then just chilling out for the rest of the night. And then back again tomorrow for Thursday. So yeah, I shall see you tomorrow. Time flies when you're having fun. It's now Thursday. Had plenty of sales last night, so I'll show you those. So I woke up at about 8 this morning, but I was just chilling in bed for a couple of hours. I did six listings, so we're a little bit ahead on the day. Got some listings done. And um, yeah, we just had a slow rise today, a bit of a chilled one. Anyway, some sales. So you'll see in the Birkenstocks, we then sold that Mallorca shirt from the football shirt video. We got 54 99 for that. Jesus, man. 
What's going on with them dogs? Uh, got payment for that Laura Rashley candlestick. We sold this tabletop game for forty nine ninety nine. We sold the Astrica full fur coat for seventy nine ninety nine. And then we've had a couple of sales this morning. We have had a Tekken seven for eight quid. The Good Life collection that we uh, picked up yesterday. We got twelve ninety nine for that. Cap for a tenner. And a coat for 25. Obviously soon it'll be getting warmer. Hopefully. So yeah, we want to be getting rid of as many coats as we can. Because they'll be slow sellers during the summer. That's that Ashrika coat. That's really nice, that one. That is lovely. So 80 quid for that. That one was off Stacey as well. Yeah, it's all going good in the hood. In terms of the new listings today, we did the O'Neill trousers, the French course, the exit game, a couple of Plymouth tops. And then that Jaeger blazer. And then last night we did a few train sets, a couple of pair of jeans, the Tolkien top, Burberry suit switch game so yeah lots of new stuff going on the store we just got to keep it up and uh yeah get through all of this because we've got a good bit of backlog here right while we're here i'm gonna plug some goated youtubers so we've got master of pieces brilliant recovered riches the goat chaddy pete unreal brum reseller what a guy of course the global thrifters are back for the first time in eight months so get back on there hey you up ricky new video so that's what's going on now 17 minutes ago you recording there, sir? <laughs> so, we just photographed that doll from the car boot. We have done a pair of Jordans that we got yesterday in the charity shop. And we've done a few pairs that are brand new, which came from the collection. So first off is a pair of New Balance, made in USA. Pretty nice. They're about a one, I think. These ones are gorgeous. Check these out. That is a nice pair of trainers. The name on those. They are a Greatest Hits Pack. Champagne Safety Orange. They are nice. And then we've got a pair of these Solover. Solover. These are like Doc Martens. But a very similar brand to Doc Martens anyway. So those there. Right, on the agenda now. We're going to clean up these docks a little bit. As you can see, they're a little bit scuffed up. So I'm going to see if we've got any shoe polish in. If not, I will go and acquire some from somewhere. And then these just need a little bit of a brush around the side just to get a little bit of that yellow off. Make the rubber look a little bit shinier. However, the actual material, it's kind of like a... It's not a canvas. It's kind of like a shiny canvas type thing. So that's actually really nice and clean. It's just the bottoms that we need to do on those. Okie dokie. So these have had a little bit of a clean looking a little bit better so they're ready to be photographed i have also put a couple coats of polish on the doc martin so they should turn out okay we'll get them photographed a little bit later and charlotte's just had a new steamer arrive my steamer's in manchester so i'll be using that tonight every now and then i do like to give the rail a little bit of a spray so i've got this fabuloso just to freshen everything up because obviously stuff like this like the old army gear it does get a bit musty it's that stuff that's probably been stored in a garage or something like that so uh yeah using that stuff so 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 i am watching the flight mh370 documentary on netflix pretty good watch obviously it's a crazy thing what happened and you know still to not know what happened is even crazier um i've spent 15 minutes getting bloody knots out of these laces but we've managed to get it done so so we're just going through these nike socks that we got these are the football ones we've got a few pairs that are uk 11 to 14 and a half big old size they are uh, adults not kids sizes and then these ones are all 8 to 11. So a bit more of a normal size. Not discriminating though, if you are a big size. You know, I'm just saying. I'm a 10. It's quite regular. So just photograph this classic game. Styles Battlefront. What a game, by the way. This, obviously the second one of this. I used to love Rogue Squadron on the N64 as well. When you go around the uh, 8080s like that. That is sick. Anyway, done those. Listed the socks at $7.99 a pair. I asked Charlotte for an update on the steamer situation. Can I take it? And she did let me know that he's ready and waiting for me. So we're going to go and get the steamer and then crack on with a load of clothes. I think today I've done like 13 listings live on the store. I've got plenty more photographed. Going to photograph a load of clothes as well. So productive day in terms of getting those new active listings on the store. Just keeping the algorithm happy. Keeping those sales coming in. And um, yeah, you just got to keep applying pressure on it. So this is the uh, steamer she's got. She's got it at half price in Argos. So we'll give that a go. And then these are just the absolute mounds of shirts. This Burberry one's epic, but it's just got a few little marks on it and stuff. So I need to be really careful. That. Fingers crossed we'll be able to get that sorted though. So I'll just fly through what we've got here anyway, which will be steaming today. Maybe another day as well. It's quite a lot. It's got that Bowden one there. We have got a couple of jersey ones here, which are Oxford Shirt Company. So we've got, what's that? It's 
So what's the animal on there? Some kind of... Is it an umbrella? Looks like a bloody umbrella. I don't know. Some bird. Anyway, there's another bird one there. We have got a couple of YSL ones. So that one there. That's a long sleeve pocket one. Brutus trim fit. You'll be surprised what these sell for. What did I pay for that? Fiverr. I think you get like 25 quid on those. Um, what have we got here? I've had this one for ages. I think we had this one from Manchester, to be honest. That's a North Face. Just a short sleeve one. Kind of like a camping, fishing kind of one. There's a short sleeve YSL one. We've got this Gant one, which we got from Stacy. Nice one there. There's a few of these are from Stacey, actually. We've got this Unic one, which is like a weird suede feel. Fred Perry one from Stacey. We've got a couple of these Rohan ones as well. Pretty bog standard. This Togi one came from that as well. Got this vintage Levi Levy one. I'll have to see what we can do with that. I couldn't really find any listings on those, but it's heavy, that. It's heavy. Uh, we've got a Barber one there. I think that came from Stacey as well, as well as this one. Rhino Tech's kind of a workwear shirt. The hill figure one I got the other day, and then the Ralphie I got the other day, and there's a little jumper there as well, but we've still got a few other bits in here. A lot of these are England shirts that I'm kind of hoarding. What's this one here? What's this one? Hill, Litch and Key. Poker shirt, we'll do that. But um, yeah, a lot of these are England shirts in here. Okay, so I do know, you all know what a steamer is, but I'll just kind of give you a before and after. So this Gantt shirt obviously needs a bit of a straightening out. And then you've got the after there. So obviously it doesn't look perfect because I don't want to spend too much time on each shirt, but it looks a lot better on photo. Right, my back is in bits. So I'm going to call it a day on the shirts for now. We'll pick that up tomorrow, but I've got plenty photographed already. So I'm going to pick up on those, sit down for a bit, get some listed. Right, and just like that, it's Friday. It's gone rapid for me. It's probably gone quicker for you. Lots to do today though. I've got loads of parcels to pack. I've got loads of new sales to show you from last night. I've got a house clearance to go to. I've got a charity shop to go to. And then I've got a Facebook marketplace pick up later tonight as well. So lots to do today. Plenty to end the video on. In terms of sales during the video, we've had 334 on Monday. We had a slow day on Tuesday, 8099. Then we had a 299 day. A 174 day yesterday and then this is just this morning now we've done 39 pound 50 so not a bad week of sales so this is the sale from this morning it's that vintage us navy outfit 39.50 and then a few from last night we've got football billionaire game 12 pound tamrak bag 44.99 city shirt not been paid for yet 20 pound we sold that dinosaur mask from the car boot 49 pound sold a pair of them socks that we listed last night for eight pounds ipswich shirt coat cap you've seen the rest of it but anyway lots to go out today some nice coat nice shirt birkenstocks so yeah 15 sales going out today which sold on wednesday and thursday nothing too hard to pack thank god so we get it done nice and quick and then we can get onto some fun stuff all done ready to go You're looking around to see who's yeah, looking. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave away. <laughs> You're trying to do it as perfect as you can. It's like Tetris. <laughs> Charlotte's got a new trainers on, courtesy of me. Pay full price for them, 185. Um, we just had a good little pickup. A few bits and bobs that we'll uh, get into when we get home. Do a little Harley Wally. So, we're going to go to a house clearance now. So it's literally just someone's house, isn't it? It's like a car boot in a house we're at. It was advertised in a local charity shop. iPad camera connection kit. Just in someone's front room. As you do. <laughs> Don't think there's much here for us, is there? Nope. But it was worth. You never know. It was worth a look. It was worth a look. Hey, up. Got some bear around there. Canadian bear. Canada. Oh, Canada. American. He's from the teddy bear collection. You can tell him from a mile away. I used to collect them as a kid. Did you? Magazine collection. See it. Go see it there. Teddy bear collection. On the uh, thing. They worth out? No, I don't think so. I remember when I was about. I remember when I was about ten or eleven in primary school, and I wanted the full set. So I sent my dad. <laughs> I sent my dad the eBay link to the full set when I was about ten years old. Did he get it for you? So eBay's been part of my life for a long time. Um, he didn't he didn't buy it, so, so shame on you, Stephen. We got a couple of bits, didn't we? Some wool kilts. What you got? What's the F nose? 
So back in the garage now, me and Shara are just going to go for a little haul. So we went to a few charity shops and we went to that kind of house clearance car boot sale. Hello. <laughs> I have got my nephew's hat on. Age. Two. He's an owl out there. It's a pigeon, darling. Where is it? A wood pigeon. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Do you want to move? Right, so there was a little house clearance car boot thing. I spent six quid, Sha sure, spent like a five or something. Five. Yeah. Uh, I got this little Marseille vintage teddy bear. Not sure what it's worth, but I just thought it's pretty cute. Pretty like, <laughs> when do you see like a little Marseille teddy bear? Marseille, what, what is Marseille? Do you know? Football team, obviously. Yeah, where's, where is it? Spain or Brazil? No, France. Close enough. I mean, they're both in Europe. Oh, Brazil. Well, Brazil's not, so. <laughs> anyway. Okay, Mr. Wood <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see what we do with it. You know, it's a bit of fun, you know, a bit of fun. Yeah, anyway, it's under stuff that I'll actually sell. Right, <laughs> and then the other two bits. The other two bits, got two wool kilts, and they're both, like, pretty good brands. What have we got there? Highland kilts, made in Scotland, 100% wool. Then the Edinburgh woolen mill, 100% wool. So, good money on those. Paid, like, six quid for the lot, so... These kilts, like, they can range from, like, 15 to, like, 40 quid. It just depends on the brands. I've not properly looked them up yet, but they should be pretty decent ones, proper Scottish ones. So, at least 20 each, I want to say, on those, barring any, like, massive holes in there. But we'll we'll double check, triple check. Yeah, and then I picked up this Joe Brown's pinafore with floral embroidery. It is the vintage label by Joe Brown's, um, and that's cotton in the size 14. I paid... Five pound for everything, and I all, I don't know why I bought this, but I just me and Grace, Grace will be watching. We just love microphones and karaoke. Yeah, so you'll probably be using that. Yeah, or I'm, I'm able to put it on auctions new. It's brand new, wireless. Yeah, it's just like a China one, but you, you know you'll get some fun out of it. You're not going to lose anything out of it. Are you? you know who will like it, Ted. That's who I had in yeah. mind. My nephew. My nephew. It's not. Not our kid. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have children, okay? Right in St Luke's. Shout out to Rach. We love Rach, the uh, manager of the shop. Uh, we picked up this Subaru cap, World Rally team. Pretty nice, vintage one. Couldn't find the exact one on eBay, but I'm going to list it for like 20 quid. If it's nothing special, I'll go for like 20 quid. But I will give it a Google lens just to make sure. But pretty cool, I like that. Obviously, racing stuff like that is a bit of me. Well, Rachel wrote out to us and I was like, John. Yeah, so I think that cost us a quid, a couple of quid. I got this smart wine monitor uh, in there as well. It was 250 and... Yeah, these can go for like 20 quid. It's sealed inside. It's really so. cool. So yeah, basically it just monitors your wine's temperature and you can kind of like... I thought you were going to say wine intake then for people who want to... No, no, so you know the temperature of your wine yeah, and yeah. you can just keep tabs on your wine's temperature. You can't change the temperature with it, but it's a, it's a funky bit of kit. If it doesn't sell, I'll give it to my parents. They might get a bit of fun out of it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Christmas 23 sorted. And this is pretty cool. It's a Zwilling Z-Cup Multigrater. Pretty cool. Cost me three quid. It's brand new in the inside. I think this same one sold for £60. So I'm just going to have a quick look, just to confirm. I don't want to be telling porkies on the internet. Don't tell I'm me. looking at you, Ricky Lee. Always lying. Yeah, he kind of rounds it up, doesn't he? Yeah. So there's a pre-owned one sold in America at £35. There's one listed in the UK at 30 quid, and then there's one in Japan at 64 So I'll just kind of throw it around in the middle, just see how we get. We can come down if it's listed a bit high, but at three quid, some good profit in that. Put your feet through them. Well, so here's what I got from St. Luke's from Rach. Um, I like listing these. They're always good fun. These go well, you know, um, bridal season coming up. Then you got this one. And then this one's really nice. And then you, you'd have to style it properly. But when my hair's done, I'll have it photographed properly. Yeah, they look good. But yeah, they go well on your vids, don't they, those? And eBay. Yeah, so... Um, I paid £9 for them all. I got me and John Luca memories book, because I care about memories. Yeah, we do scrapbooking and all that stuff. Free prints, we print off, don't we? thought you were going to be rolling your eyes or something then. Free print photographs, we put in those. Yeah, and do you know what? Free prints is really good for business cards as well. Um, if you get your business card and you can put six on one normal size photo, and you pay about like £2 for like hundreds of business cards. And then a linen dress by Next. That was £3. That was £3. Um, maybe like 15 20 just depends brand new with tags in it brand so new tags. so that was the saint luke's hall and thanks to rachel for always doing us a good deal we like going in there it is a highlight of my day yeah yeah she's lovely she does watch so shout out to you rich 
We love you. You know what? I actually go there because I enjoy the interaction. It's like breaks my day up. Yeah, I stayed at home all day. I like having like conversation with oh, her. Same, same. Right. It's good. And then on to hugs, we got a few bits as well. So shout out to Jackson. We love Jackson as well. Jackson's also in our top three. Top three. We've only got two. We've only got we? two. So. Yeah, so you, you're both top. Yeah, they Joint are. top. We love Jackson. We love Reach, don't we? So we've got this XL Hollister puffer coat. It's in pretty good condition. Like, there's no wear to it. I wouldn't normally pick up Hollister, but it's just a little quality piece. It doesn't smell like Hollister anymore, though. And it's got that thick Hollister feel. You know, yeah. It's like... Yeah. So I think I'll, I'll do quite well on it. I paid 15 quid for the lot on these, so, you know, there's some good profit in there. Nice pair of women's gazelles, kind of like a cracked tone to them. Pretty cool. What size are those? Five. They're a size five, yeah, so. They're like a, um, they're like a what do you call it, mint. Yeah, like a mint yes. colour, so. They're in nice condition, they shouldn't take too long to shift. Got a little Masterpieces special, I got one of the Bluetooth Furbies from 2015. Um, she doesn't talk or anything yet. I need to check um, her batteries, but pretty sure it's an empty battery compartment i think the uh they check them so yeah hopefully we do well on that masterpieces fan aren't you yeah i love ian ian's the goat got a pair of oakley snow goggles you look like that fly off breaking bad <laughs> so <laughs> so these oakley snow goggles obviously oakley's a great brand for sunglasses and snow gear and shit like that so um it's a little bit of wear on the inside obviously this has come away a little bit but they still fit on all right i'll obviously state that in the listing but i just couldn't not take them just because they're oakley Good brand. Um, there's the little logo there. I just thought, you know what? They're in a the little bag. A little bit damaged, but should get some good money out of them. So I thought I'd get them. I got a few more bits as well, but I'll let Charlotte do hers and then we'll kind of end the haul on mine, the rest of mine. So more hats. More, I was obviously feeling hats today. He was in a hat mood. Another one of those. That's from Hatbox, and Hatbox ones are quite a, go quite well, like 30 quid, 40 quid. That's in a hat box hat. Box. That's in a hat box box. Next up. Katie London sunglasses with their pouch. Nice. Um, they can go for like 15 quid. This shape does nothing for me. Nah, does nah, nothing it doesn't. for me. I said nah. that before I even put them on. All right, said so that a bit too. <laughs> nah, sorry. Nah. <laughs> I don't know nothing for you. I'll have a biscuit while you present. Because this is the week in the life. It's a little bit unfiltered, do you know what I mean? It's going to be like an hour long video, though. This is a Jules hunting jacket. Floral lining is a 14, is a 12. Um, tweed, no damage, tortoise buttons. Um, so here's the parade range. I'm trying to see if it's wool. Do you think it's going to be wool? Mm -hmm. Dry clean only. Blend, wool yeah, blend. Yeah, wool blend. So yeah, happy with that. If you're a long term subscriber, you've seen John Luke go from gaming to women's wear material content. Mm. Gross. Next up, little River Island top. May keep this one, may put it on yeah, into little eBay. I like that. Internet. Can layer it as well, with like a dark yeah. green top. You look it. like a tote bag. I like tote bags, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Next tote up, bag. Mm -hmm. we have got John Luke Candies for me. £22 <clears throat> H&M, cotton, size denim. large, denim short, dungarees, women's cardi, brand new tags, £20. Oh, I like this one. I found this at the bottom of a bin bag. Laura Ashley. Laura Ashley size 16 denim pinafore dress with a frill um yellow stitching so that's really nice nice party and wedding season on my mind so just uh no particular reason though no not proposing that's your choice anyways maybe I'm trying to like you know get it on your mind weddings <laughs> <laughs> um anyway yeah that's just like a anyway <laughs> anyway Far as interrupted. This is just, you know, wedding guest outfit, size 16. And last up, another wedding outfit. <laughs> this is a jacket, Jackie is that? Jackie is that? Yeah, I think you say Jack Vert. Jack, Jackie is Jack. I, th I, think, I think it's silent at the end. I think it's Jack Vert. Here we go. There we go. No need to say that at all. No, I, I do think it's Jack Vert. It might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Correct I think it is Jack Vert. I think, I think the, the air's on the end. And a it's little. It's just silent. Blazer. Might be wrong though. Let and me know. Got that for Tedster. Tedster. Mum said that's a bit small for me. So I've got 11 items for £25. Pound. What does that break down to? Two grid items? Just just less than 2 50 an item. <laughs> to finish off my side of the hall as well, I've got some, <laughs> got some PS1 games, got some PS2 games. Obviously, Charlotte finds something very funny. <laughs> you know, this is going to all be going to be left in because it's the week in the life. This is what I get. It's always laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 
Dragon Seek. I, I've not searched any of these up yet. Some of them might be worth nothing. Some of them might be worth a little bit. Some of them might be worth a lot. Anyway, Dragon Tales, Dragon Seek, PS1. Rayman Junior Level 1, PS1. Rugrat Studio Tour, mm. PS1. Rugrats Search and Repair, PS1. I've sold a couple of the Rugrats games before, so... Might be alright them too. I've got a few Buzz games that I'm just going to do as a bundle. So I've got Buzz the Big Quiz, the School Quiz, the Sports Quiz. They'll make a nice little bundle. They remind me so much of my grandpa's early PlayStation 2 games. Mm. FIFA 11, PS2. Decent money because it's quite a new one for the console. Wii Sports, Crash my favourite ever. Crash on the PS2, you like that one? Oh, I love, that's my favourite game to play on. Just name all the characters? Um, I don't know the characters. Yeah, nah. I couldn't tell you the character's name in Breaking Bad. I don't know names. Walt, Jesse, You asked me Chris Skyler, and Break, would not know. Michael, Lincoln. No. Sports Island on the Wii, Family Game Out on the Wii. Mm. Stuff like that we might keep because they're, they're pretty fun. We've got Connect 4, Boggle. So they might be good for us to play you that. You need to get the Wii sorted out. Yeah, I do. I'm missing the cables. Anyone's got Wii cables? Just me, wouldn't you? Yeah, actually, true. I'll get in touch. My Sims Racing, Quantum of Solace on the way. Just want—I used to have that, so I wanted to get Let's that. Just say them really quick. Quantum of Solace. Sound like you said a different language than Quantum of Solace. <laughs> Quantum of Solace on the way. You said it way quick. You Quantum of Solace. Quantum of Solace. Um, I wanted that for myself. Space Race PS2, Looney Tunes one. That looks pretty good. That I'm going to search that in a second. Yeah, it does. Monopoly on the way. We're keeping that. Sega Superstars PS2. And then two SSX games, which are cool. They were my favourite Snow as well. Yeah, snowboarding games. They're fun, so I might keep those. Do you remember the song that it? It's time to rock around, to rock around. Right, co time copyright to strike, trickle, come on. Time to get... Copyright strikes, oh. Baby, come around. No! Let me just search this. Just because just it, it catches my eye as something that might be worth a little bit of money. It's worth about four quid. Anyways, <laughs> you know what? Forget it. So not only games are amazing, but... Just little fun bits I can list on the store. They didn't cost me too much. You know, you're talking like 50p a game or something on them. So, good stuff. So, that's the haul. I'll see you later. Get rid of her now. Don't they do it box them when they square her off? I'm going to smash your head in, Jake Paul. Your whole family is a joke. I will destroy you, bum. I'm going to ruin your name and Bambi's name before she's even born, bro. My dad will batter your dad. Yo, you're embarrassing. Sit down. I will smash your head to bits, Jake Paul. Sit down, bro, before you regret what you say, okay? See you in the ring. Yeah? Pussy up. Have you got me recording? Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the video. <laughs> no! Um, right, Charlotte's going now. I'm gonna tidy up because it's a bit of a mess and um, hopefully get a bit photographed and listed because I've got to go on a little drive later to pick up some Facebook magic. What is it you're buying? Walking Dead figures, oh. toys. Beautiful. Oh. See, that's one thing that me and Carboot Chris have in common as well. We both love The Walking Dead. You and Carboot Chris are both Northern. You both support Man City. You both love film memorabilia. Both resellers on both YouTube. Both resellers. And we both... Um, and you both live in Devon. Love, love Walking Dead, yeah. You two are bros. Bros. Locked in by a shoe deal. We're on Friday now. Nearly at the end of the video. If you are enjoying it, not we're not finished yet, but hit like. We're only out for a couple of hours. Done, all right? Got some bits to go on the store. Had a bit of fun. All of these are like five minutes from us, so it's just fun to break up the day, in it? Yeah. My personal favourite pickup. Oui, oui. Eh. Oui, oui. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va, Ma monsieur. Bien, monsieur. Ça va pas, chef. So that's all wrapped up now. Uh, we've got some good bits there. Pretty pleased with what we got. Some random bits and bobs, but... um. Yeah, bit of a mess in here now, because I'm packed. It just gets a bit manic. Um, so I'm going to get tied in and get a few of these bits listed. So I just had a really nice message off my brother. Uh, I think his friend is working in Calvin Phillips' house, doing some work. And he sent me a photo, and he's he signed um, a paper for me saying best wishes. So I was buzzing with that. I'll put it up here. But uh, yeah, big love to my brother. I love my brother to pieces. Uh, just something dead nice to do for me. So yeah, I love that. And on Calvin Phillips as well. Next season, it always takes a season to settle in with a pep team. He will come good next season. Right, so I was just about to get into all this, and we had a nice little sale coming. The Reebok Jurassic Worlds that I got in the uh, big collection. So I'm really happy with that, 90 quid. So yeah, decent little day so far. We've done about 150 quid. Um, it's about four o'clock, so good stuff. I'll just show you them quickly. These ones are, they are beauts. They are really nice, like Jurassic World. Look at them, bad boy. Reebok Beatniks, they are. Beatniks as I would say. So, yeah, pretty cool. Right, so I'm just going to see if this Furby's going to work, so I'm just going to unscrew her. 
and see how we get on. I got this decent little uh, screwdriver kit off Amazon. It's got all the bits and bobs in there. Pretty decent. Fairly cheap, I think, as well. So it pretty much covers all bases, especially when reselling anyway. So that'll be linked down below if you ever wanted to pick one of those up. Totally missed it on camera, but she does work. Um, I don't know. I stopped recording by accident. Anyway, she did work. I got some batteries working in there. So I think without the mask, she's about 20 quid. So decent little money. Big shout out to Phil on Instagram. Subscriber of mine. He picked up a Carragher shirt, the one that I got in the mystery box. So hope you enjoy that shirt. That'll be sent out Monday now um yeah getting through them shirts now sold a couple of them so very happy to be fair the purpose of those actual football videos wasn't even to make money it was just kind of like a good little video for you guys to enjoy and for me to enjoy doing um because we all like a little football shirt don't we if you can make a bit of money on top perfect but at least we get the value of what the box is and what i paid then it's fine by me so yeah hopefully we can get that last one done soon as well the a grade box so plenty more photographed here to go up tonight i'm gonna go and get that facebook marketplace pick up bring them in here we'll show you them a little bit later and then we can kind of get all of this skewed up and put away we've just made a facebook marketplace pickup so i'm gonna go in the garage sort you through it but um yeah this lighting's a bit crap so we'll get out of here a tired charlotte will now witness the hall you've not seen anything have you no. he um rushed it into the boot very quickly oh my god well it was dark wasn't it so so this is what we're looking at what are your first thoughts how much did you spend 200 pounds 200 pounds so there's a lot of sealed figures, and then there's a load of un open figures as well. Uh, yeah, open well. figures. Punk Rock Zombie, Michonne's Pet Zombie. For any Walking Dead fans, you'll know all this stuff. Riot Gear Zombie. Can you still buy them? No. No. Okay. Beth. So Beth. Tony was in circulation. Yeah. Yeah, these aren't produced anymore. That's a charred zombie. Water Walker. Dale, what a guy. What a guy. I love Dale. I used to, I actually bought this from Forbidden Planet when it first came out. Would have been like 20, 2015, yeah, so. Decent. We've got the Governor. A little bit dirty, that one, but we'll get it cleaned up. It's just surface. Yeah, it's only like cold marks. Yeah. We've got a Gareth. He's not very memorable. I think he's a cannibal. Not very nice. We have got a Daryl and a Merle. Seems like the Merle's been out of the box, possibly, but um, decent. We've got, this one's a bit sun faded, but we've got a Morgan there with that lady there. And then all of these at the bottom are all the open ones already. So most of these are the TV series ones, but there is some of the comic ones as well. You want a book in the box? You have a gander's at the box, see what you think. Well, there's quite a few that are. Who's your favourite? You pick out a favourite. Left. You like the bicycle girl? I like the baggy fit jeans. Oh, that actually just comes off. Yeah, it comes off. <laughs> <laughs> That's like me in the morning. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty cool. I'm going to have fun looking through all this. See, that's, I think that's a com comic, I think that's a comic book, Jesus. So some of them are the comic book ones. I like all the zombies. Yeah, the zombies are cool. I like how they've been doing them with pot belly, that's clever. Yeah, they, they were made the a bit. The attention to detail is very good. Yeah, they're made by McFarlane. Pretty good brand, to be fair. Subscribe or I eat your brains out. Thank you. Pretty cool, though. So they used to have a big collection of these, and I sold them, so I'm pretty glad that I found them. Why did you sell them? Just needs moss at the time, you know, when you, you know, got stuff to do when you're a kid, you need to sell things. It's just a way you, you end up selling your consoles and stuff. Hey. But in here are all the accessories. So it was up for 200, did you buy it? It was up at down? 300. Ah, okay. Um, she's had it up for a little bit, I've kept my eyes on it and no one's bit, so. So obviously you've got all the little accessories, so you've got like the alternate head and the gun. And all bits and bobs in here. Little duffel bag so all the accessories for all the um the figures she said her husband um what glass cabinet her husband always put them to one side just so they didn't get lost or damaged so there's absolutely a bag full of heads hands accessories guns and all that good stuff in there so they're all complete there's daryl's motorcycle there oh yeah daryl's motorcycle classic yeah well charlotte's not seen the walking that i have do you know what? Your I'm a big fan. Your YouTube channel is just saying stuff I haven't watched. What about the stuff I have watched? What have you watched? Lots. 
You've seen Lost. Right, comment down below if you've seen Lost, because that is an iconic TV show. Abraham. Good name. I think that is the comic version. I'll just, I'll just pick a couple out. I don't want to go on forever. Tyrese. And there's Glenn from the comics. He's bald in the comics. A bit weird. TV show Glenn. Iconic. At least I'll keep you out of my hair for a few hours. Yeah, so... I'm Thank you, forward, Facebook. Looking forward to working through that. I think there's like 40 loose figures. Well, it depends. I'm going to keep some and I'm going to sell some. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to keep the ones in the boxes that are in good condition. Um, so like this sun faded one, I'll get rid of that. But something like Dale, for example, which I actually bought like this in the box years and years ago. But I want to keep that for myself. You should see Charlotte's face right now. She's not impressed. Anyway... My money's safe. I'm going to profit off it and I'm going to keep a load of figures as well. So that's keeping me happy and the business happy. So I'm sure happy. Yeah. How much do you expect to make back? Or you don't um, know? Ballpark figure. I'll double my money and then keep some figures. So, you know. Well, like we say, if you're happy, that's the main thing. Yeah. If you're happy and you know it, clap your Subscribe. hands. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to sign out from the vlog here anyway. So this is my girlfriend, Charlotte. If you've never met her before. Is she is. I'm the OG reseller. No. The OG. No. <laughs> She's not. Alright. These are the figures. You can have a good look and a pause if you actually wanted to have a look. Got like zombie mills down there. Pretty cool. Anyway, any Walking Dead fans, you'll appreciate this. If you've not seen it, you probably won't. But I'm going to sign out from the weekly vlog. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, like I said before, I will do more of it. If you do enjoy it, I might keep it as a consistent thing, like a weekly vlog. It's fun. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you are new. So yeah, down below in the description, got links to my eBay store, Amazon links, Facebook group, my Instagram as well. So any of that good stuff, so I'll link down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a future video very soon. Bye. Have a great week and um, I'll see you later.